My name's Nadia, and I'm privileged to be joined with Dennis Edney, Edney sorry, um, who is a Canadian defence attorney based in Ed Edmonton, Alberta, noted for his involvement in high-profile cases, including Brian Mills, Arthur Strang, as a defence attorney for Abdullah Omar Khadr, um, who was captured in the war on terror, Farh Farhim Ahmed, um, and represents the entire um, Khadr, Khadr family. Thank you very much for your time. Um, my question is, in cases related to terrorism offences, is it fair to say that civil liberties and due process are generally curtailed? Well, in terms of Omar Khadr's trial in Guan... Okay. In terms of Guantanamo Bay, there's not such a, a beast as due process. Omar Khadr was a vestibule of any defence. He was not allowed to bring any witnesses. Torture memos that were used against him or techniques but not allowed to be introduced in court. And so in terms of Guantanamo Bay, Guantanamo Bay is beyond the rule of law. And I would not um, consider Guantanamo Bay as a, as a legitimate type of court. But, you know, recently, a few years ago, I was involved in the Trot 18 terrorist trial. And these young men who had engaged in a conspiracy to blow up some towers, um, they were given due process of law because it was treated like a criminal case. They were entitled to their own lawyers, they were entitled to, uh, some were entitled to bail, some weren't. Um, but it worked out. So it depends upon the circumstance. Many thanks for your time, Dennis Edney. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Edney. Edney. Apologies for that. Thanks. Digital. Thank you so much.